While California struggles to repair its aging levee system, fish and game workers purposely breached the levee today and probably touched off a celebration. That's because this particular levee protected only a San Francisco-based salt pond, a pond that has now returned to the natural state it hadn't been in in more than a century. Channel 2's Rita Williams has that report. Today's event was a long time coming. You can see the significance of what happened today by looking at these 300 acres of Bayland just off Highway 92. At 1 o'clock this afternoon, they were dry. An hour and a half later, at high tide, the levee was breached and bay water came pouring in, restoring this area to what it used to be tidal marshes. These tidal marshes are what, you know, kind of, they're the lungs of the bay in that they filter the water, they improve water quality, they provide really important habitat for the fish that use the bay. The marshes also are home to birds and the harvest mouse. This is just one section of some 40,000 acres ringing the bay that are being restored from the commercial salt ponds they were turned into starting about 160 years ago. But not all the salt ponds will be flooded. The plan is to keep and manage some of these salt ponds around the bay for the birds and other critters that have come to depend on them. The flooding of this section of the Eden Landing Ecological Reserve was celebrated today by folks from some of the federal, state, and local agencies who spent more than a decade making this happen. Everyone in our agency who began working on this project has since retired and Probably some of the people who replaced those that retired are actually retired now also. Volunteers with Save the Bay say they've carted away 10,000 pounds of trash from this area and they've collected native plant seeds to use here and in future revegetation projects. Perhaps no one was as proud today as Frank and Janice Delfino from Castro Valley, now 80 years old, who've been working to protect this area from development since the 1970s. There was going to be a big racetrack here and a hotel. Hotel Hayward was going to be right out there in Bay Mud. So uh, I, th I think this is great. Remember that dry land we saw at the beginning of the story? This is that same area about four hours later. In Hayward, Rita Williams, KTVU, Channel 2 News.